Good morning. So we are back in Ohio and yeah, everything, we're not pretending you're asleep. <laughs> Evie is already awake. We're getting her dressed for the morning. She's already had some breakfast. Um, but we are just kind of, I guess, getting back to normal life. And when we came home, um, there's like kind of like this lack of like food. <laughs> because right before we left, I kind of like emptied out everything and like a bunch of food we actually took to Wisconsin um, just because it was important to me to have like good family meals and not to be eating out all the time. So super long story short, our refrigerator is empty. Our pantry is pretty much empty. Kind of decided on our way home that we're going to do a Whole30. Do a Whole30. And I'll explain more about what a Whole30 is in just a bit. I got to get this one dressed. Okay, so you're cooking dinner right now, but yes, what is the main reason that you think we're going on Whole30? Speaking for myself. I have gotten a little portly, and it has not come off with running and working out and all the things. So we are going to go a little bit more strategic and tactical on our diet. Whole30, it's not meant to be a lifestyle, but it is restrictive to a degree, and it cuts out some extra calories and just being more mindful of how we eat. It's really the idea. Okay, so now I'm actually gonna go through the pantry, go through the refrigerator and get rid of some of the things I know we're just not gonna eat in the next 30 days or pack it away for when we can not eat it. Now I'm not gonna obviously get rid of everything because there are some EV friendly foods in here. Um, things like protein pancakes or morning waffles, like frozen waffles and stuff like that. Obviously I'm not gonna get rid of her breakfast cereal, um, but a large part of like the candy, the cookies and the chips are gonna go away. he's doing that let's go ahead and talk about our cooking haul our cookbook haul so this is actually a book that aunt teffy got us do you remember thug kitchen i do so this book is actually 100 percent vegan uh or vegetarian so like there's no meat recipes in here but they're all like really healthy and delicious i'm told aunt teffy if you're watching this we've never used this cookbook that's not true i made one thing out of it Ooh, what'd you make i don't remember it's a mushroom thing, I think. Then I don't think it counts. <laughs> okay, so next we have our Whole30, the regular cookbook. This isn't the first Whole30 book. Um, the first Whole30 book has a lot of like instructions and what to do and stuff like that. This is just plain recipes. And then we also have the Whole30 slow cooker book. So looking in here, I actually like these recipes better but I'm not gonna spend six hours cooking some of these. So, there's that. Wait, you mean we can just take 
You mean we can just take like the idea of something and tweak it slightly in terms of like cook technology just to get it cooked and have something to eat that's delicious? Something like that. Yeah. By the way, fastest way to uh, mince up your garlic. Take a look. Got my little garlic, got my hammer, point. Just smash it and then it peels apart like super, super easy. And then you can just mince it up super, super simple. So you just smash your garlic instead of messing around. Okay, if there's one thing that annoys me about your cooking, it's that you create like these piles of waste. And I'm like, if you kept your pile of waste like on another cutting board, then you could just take all, all well, and the nice part is, since dump I'm cooking, it in the trash. Since I'm cooking on the island, trash, so swipe, done. Okay. But I'm with you. That's why I actually Oh, and this cookbook was Jeremy's idea. Why did you get this cookbook? Because Active Life, hello, it's got like some recipes for like getting up, get moving quick, high nutrition, quick impact food. So we're going to work out. We got some nutrition for our system. I like that idea. Just get up and get it going, baby. Okay. So, and one of the main reasons that I wanted all these cookbooks is I was like, I could be on Pinterest for 45 minutes a week, or I could just consult my pile of cookbooks for food ideas and menus and plans and grocery lists and all of the things. So there we go. Okay, what is one recipe or meal you're looking forward to that is Whole30 friendly? Oh, dude, they have this bang bang shrimp that we made that was like, it's like fried shrimp and you put it with like a coconut powder. I'm really uh, it's coconut powder and it's like the bang bang shrimp that's all I know to call it. Um, there's that one and then there's the Italian soup that we make that has the uh, sausage in it, the Italian sausage. So good. Okay, so Jeremy and I are all set to start Whole30 tomorrow, except for we just got news that Jeremy's dad wants to go out to eat tomorrow. So, and he wants to go to um, Noodle & Co. And the best way to really order food and get things is just to look at the menu. Now the cool part about Noodle Co. is they do have zoodles now. So now it's just a matter of staying also dairy free while we're there. So um, yeah, the best thing to do when you're ever going out to eat on Whole30 is look up the menu first, figure out a plan, and stick to it. Okay, so my Whole30 order is going to be a version of this colorful flour rigatoni fresca shrimp so pretty much it's going to be zoodles sauteed with shrimp with balsamic vinegar olive oil roasted garlic i'm going to substitute my red onions for mushrooms tomatoes and spinach and i'm not going to top it really with anything so that's the order it's also our last day pre whole 30 and jeremy got me so in this bag, there's actually sausage biscuit gravy. And I wanted this before we went to Wisconsin, but like they gave us the wrong order. They gave us like a sausage biscuit sandwich. And then in Milwaukee, they don't have sausage and gravy like at their McDonald's. So it was like really sad to be me. <laughs> well, wait. Hold on. We also have to add the fact that it was like super like, like we got out of the house and I had to go get gas and I should have got gas last night, note to self. And then, okay, let me just jump in here real quick. I'm gonna get food, everything's gonna be good, we're gonna be fine. And I was like, okay, we're gonna be fine. I'm gonna have my sausage gravy. And then she like pulls up and goes, where's my sausage gravy this week? I think I'm gonna cry. And it was like, it really put a sour mood on the start of the road trip because I failed to the road. But I redeemed myself. Today. Like 10 days later. Hush, hush, hush. It's not about the time. It's about the. It, it, it's happening. Your mouth will love you. What's one thing you're going to miss during Whole 30? Nothing, because I can have it after. It's only 30 days. 30 days is a long time. Sorry, I looked for my wife for 30 something years. 30 days is not the end. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. No. You're not shooting me eating food. Me? I will wait until the camera battery comes. Take the, the bite. Comes. Take the bite. I just want your face when you're like all smiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that good? Mm. Ah. Is that hot? Mm. Hash brown.
Unfortunately, the light in here right now is not as warm on camera as it is in real life. Because you look kind of washed out, but you're beautiful right now. That's sweet. You are. Are you recording this? I am. <laughs> I started rolling B-roll, but then I was just like, oh, the color's horrible, but you look gorgeous. <laughs> no, the, the camera is like, everything's kind of greeny white, like flushed this, out. This reminds me of when, um, like, you're delivering really good content, and then I say something, like, that interrupts you, like, the lighting's so bad in here, or, oh, the background noise, or, oh, there went a loud truck, and I always feel, like, so bad, because it's, like, good stuff. Yeah. And then, like, I cut you off too soon. Oh, you're fine. Damn it on. It's fine. It's not fine. It's fine. If it was fine, I would be fine with it. But it's uh, not, so I'm not. Uh, What's okay. happening behind you? Let's Hi. look. Hi. Oh, mountain range. Uh, yeah. there's like a total cat butt cat hole. Butt yeah. Yeah. So I'm on mountain range part time. Yeah. Hey, Mary. Oh, the camera oh, battery's running out. Ha 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 Oh, he yeah. lets you know. He Thank lets you. you know. Dude. Gets up there, gets stuck, then gets mad at me and trying to get him back down. Dad, what are you doing? That's my foot. Okay. That well. sounds like a teenager. Cats are good practice. Can I turn this off? <laughs>